In this video, let's take a look at some VXLAN and EVPN Wireshark captures and how VXLAN load shares traffic across multiple physical links. This is the VXLAN data plane capture of traffic between VMs 100.1.011 that communicate with a 0.1. And this is shown here the source and destination IPs and the MAC addresses. There's the inner packet and VXLAN will encapsulate the 50 bytes overhead. So you can see the VTAP IPs here. These are the switches which are different from the originating VM IPs. The VTAP switches also have unique MAC addresses and VXLAN uses UDP destination port 4789. The source port is dynamic and changes. We can see that a VXLAN network identifier is used, the VNI. So this traffic is mapped to VNI 10, which is VLAN 10 in our case. EVPN control plate is MPBGP. In this Wireshark, we have VTAPs sending updates. A single update has multiple update messages. So if you scroll into one of them, this is what we'll see for, as an example. We have address family identifier AFI of 25, and the SAFI subsequent address family identifier for EVPN is 70. You, this example shows you EVPN type 2 route. This is a MAC address of the VM learned from the 101 VTAP. In the same BGP update, if you drill into a different update message, you would see this inclusive multicast route, which is a EVPN type 3 route that I mentioned earlier. This allows 1.11 VTAP and the VNI 10 to receive all bump traffic for VNI 10. In the next few slides, we'll take a look at how VXLAN helps to load share traffic across multiple physical underlay links. In a typical leaf spine data center topology, you can start with two spines. So VTAP has two uplinks, and if you need require more bandwidth, you get more spines. Right? You get four uplinks from each VTAP leaf. So VXLAN allows traffic to be load shared across different uplinks because of the ECMP or equal cost multipath routing. So even though you have a single tunnel between the racks, if you have four links in the underlay, traffic should be load shared across all those four physical links. In the first example, let's look at two-way VXLAN EVPN, ECMP, with a single traffic flow. In this example, we have back-to-back -back leaves because the spines are really aggregators. ECMP is seen from the leaf point of view. If you have two uplinks, it's considered two-way ECMP. If you have four uplinks, that's four-way ECMP. ECMP is provided by OSPF. And do not expect equal load balancing. Traffic is load shared across the links on a per flow basis. Here we have the single traffic flow information, 1 and 11. Send traffic between 1 and 11 over the tunnel. In this example, I'm sending 500 meg of traffic between 1 and 11, it receives it. But let's look at the physical links. You can see one of the links has all the traffic, right? 111 has all the traffic, 112 has no traffic. Same for 111 on leave 2, all the traffic is there. But 112 on leave 2 has no traffic. So there is no load sharing in this case because there's only one flow. All traffic is sent on one physical link. In example 2, we do the same test. This time, we we'll add multiple traffic flows. So you see, example 2, we don't change anything. Physical links are the same. Single tunnel, build a tunnel based on loopback addresses. No change. The only change is the stream. We now have multiple flows. Here we see the Different flows being used now. We have 1, 2, 3, 11, 12, 13. We have traffic between all these flows across these two physical links. We still see 500 meg being sent and received. The difference is this time on the physical links, 
you see traffic being load shared 250 to 60 meg so it's about equal load sharing okay multiple streams over a single tunnel that uses both links in this example tree we're going to use four-way ecmp so example three we have four physical links instead of two on the previous examples that's the only difference we still have one tunnel across all four links the same multiple traffic flows are used for example three as well and we see 500 meg being sent and received so the difference is we now have four physical links and there uh, you can see traffic is being used on all links 100 meg 160 being sent out 100 being received right 160 sent out 100 being received here it's on VTAP 1, leaf 1. So on leaf 2, you see all the links are also being used. So there is some form of load sharing across all four links for multiple traffic streams across a single tunnel.